Jeff MK Dons at the weekend here at St James Park. Uh, before we yeah. get into that one, obviously you had your, your call up to the maker a couple of weeks ago. Um, what happened there? Because I know you you were back earlier than expected. Yeah, um, it was just a case of you know um, I was meant to be out there for around about a week, um, being involved in obviously the game that I was meant to be on a Saturday, um, and then potentially the game on Tuesday. But it was a case of once the game got called off on a Saturday, um, I pretty much would have just been out there training, which obviously is not really ideal, especially with the fact that it wasn't in an actual FIFA regulated time. So there was no international breaks or anything like that. Um, so I'd have been missing out on, you know, obviously the Cheltenham game, which I definitely missed, and then potentially the Gillingham game, you know, which for me is two important games. Um, so, yeah, I'm coming back early. Because um, we've just been training, I guess. So we can just train here, <laughs> train and play games here. So, you know, so that's about it. Nonetheless, for a few days at least, you had that experience of an international team set up. Because I know it was under 17 you were at with, with Jamaica. Yeah. That experience, hopefully, if you can continue to impress the manager, that you're hopeful of a call up again later in the year or in the next two years or so. No, yeah, definitely. I feel like um, I've actually spoken to um, to um, it's weird how they do it. It's because he's he's the manager, but like you know, in England, we've like Matt, our manager is Matt Taylor. Um, whereas in Jamaica, he's the manager, but he's not actually the. It's it's hard to explain, but um, I've been in contact with him. I've known him since I've been like with the seventies and stuff like that. I've been in contact with him since being back, and obviously them not being back and. He was just basically saying, oh, yeah, he thought, like, I looked really good in training and stuff like that. So I think if I carry on just, you know, playing my football and doing well here, then hopefully another call-up will be due soon. Let's get back to domestic matters. Six, sorry, six games played in League One, two wins, two draws, two defeats. How would you assess our start in League One and how have you found it as a player? Um... No, I feel like it's it's been a you know it's been a tough start. It's been a I think a bit of both good, good and bad. Um, you know, I feel like the games that we both games that we've drawn or games that you look back at and you think, okay, the Lincoln game pretty even. Um, obviously we've had that disallowed goal, which obviously doesn't help. And then the other draw the weekend against Ackley, I feel like, you know, a, game that I feel like we should be winning. Also, you look at the Cheltenham game, obviously it was a completely different side from when we played them in the cup, but at the same time, you do look at them games, especially as a home game, you know, we want to make sure we get have a good home form, which has always been key for us. So, but, you know, I feel like at the minute right now, sitting very comfortably you know, mid-table and I feel like, you know, we can always, always aim for better, but I think it's been good so far. It's obviously so early in the season that you can't really call too much at this stage, can you? Yeah. Bur- Burton and Morecambe haven't won yet. Portsmouth are up the top, but that could change so quickly. No, yeah, definitely. You know, it's, it's a very long season. Um, I think there's what, still, still like 40 games to go. So in the case of, you know, you do the maths on that, there's still a lot of points to play for. So I, I do feel like it's too early to be judging teams, regardless of whether at the top or the bottom. Let's talk about the opponents then, MK Dons. You actually started your youth career there, I believe, very, very yeah. young. Your first club you played for. Um, yeah. What do you expect from them? Because they came very close to promotion last year. Yeah, no, we, I think everyone knows what MK Dons are about. You know, they're a very um, good football team. Obviously, they play, keep the ball on the floor. They play very good football. So, I think they're a possession-based team. So, it's a case of... We're just looking forward to, um, like, how can I explain it? Um, pretty much just trying to stop them from doing what they do best because, you know, if we stop them from playing, then that will give us more of a chance to um, obviously get a result that we want. Something that we found particularly last season as well, and of course League Two is so different, but 
when a team actually goes for it against us and really, really gives it all, it almost opens up that space that we benefit from. Whereas perhaps that Cheltenham game a couple of weeks ago, they yeah. sat back quite heavily and we really struggled to break them down. Do you think their style of play might allow us to find that space? No, yeah, definitely. Um, um, I feel like even last season, if you look at the games that we had in League Two, and I feel like whenever we played against teams that were possession based, teams that were possession based and you know, were very spread out, I feel like that gave us platforms to obviously win the ball back and go straight through them. So I feel like tomorrow, um, not tomorrow, sorry, Saturday will probably be the same as that. Uh, and finally, obviously, back at home. Last couple of results have been disappointing at home, but we, but we know that when we're at our best at home, we are a very difficult team to beat. No, yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like it's just about basically resetting and getting ourselves back to that, back in that mindset. You know, the last couple of games, like you said, we haven't, you know, sort of haven't gone our way. Um, doesn't mean the performance and stuff like that hasn't been there. It's just, you know, just making sure that we stay focused on throughout the whole 90 minutes and obviously get, hopefully get back to winning ways at home.